Dr. Fauci is back. No, he hasn't been fired yet. Now, wait to see what he's saying to Americans who have decided to celebrate Thanksgiving with their family. Well, you'll be shocked. Maybe not. Chris Donaldson from Trending Politics reports on the last weekend before Thanksgiving, the usual suspects were whipping up fear in order to coerce Americans into canceling their family gatherings. And Dr. Anthony Fauci laid the guilt trip on those who would invite grandma and grandpa to dinner. Democrat governors have turned the screws by imposing another round of lockdowns just in time for one of the nation's most cherished and enduring holiday traditions of enjoying dinner with their extended families. And one of those bureaucrats is Dr. Fauci, a man who has been attacked like a blood-sucking leech on the backs of the American taxpayer as the head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases ever since Ronald Reagan was president. Now, Fauci has become a fixture on the Sunday morning news programs. And, of course, yesterday was no different when he went on to the loathsome partisan hack Chuck Todd on NBC's flagship program, Meet the Press, to put a damper on Thanksgiving. Watch. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. We're not going to completely eliminate it and turn it around rapidly and dramatically, but we can prevent it from increasing. You look at the curve, Chuck, it's, it's almost exponential when you compare the curves in the spring and the curves in the summer with the, with the inflection of the curve where we are right now. We should not accept that we can't do anything about that. Putting vaccines aside for a moment, which will be extraordinarily helpful, if we implement the simple public health measures that I was mentioning to you, we can blunt that inflection. It doesn't have to be as high up. You brought up the issue with the holidays. I think the people in this country need to realistically do a risk benefit assessment. Every family is different. Everyone has a different level of risk that they want to tolerate. But when you think of the holiday season and the congregating indoors at what are innocent, lovely functions like meals with family and friends, you've got to at least think in terms of evaluating. Do you have people in your family that are elderly that might have underlying conditions like someone on chemotherapy or other things that weaken their immune system. Do you really want to get a crowd of 10, 15, 20 people, many of whom are coming in from places where they've gone from crowded airports to planes, getting into the house? I mean, those are the things that have been such joyous things in the past, but this is a very special situation. So you don't want to call it all off. Okay, so he's, he's got about 20 seconds here. But just to comment briefly on what he's saying, of course, we all have to take our own risk assessment. He's making a good point, okay? But if they come in, like in Chicago, they have literally told people to have virtual Thanksgiving. Virtual. How, I don't know how they're going to enforce that, but every single family has to make a decision for themselves. If they start to make mandates and, and somehow enforcing these things, then we have a problem. Okay, but it's very important, yes, that we all take a risk assessment. Oh, but you want to say at least give you and your family the benefit of having considered what is the risk benefit of doing that as opposed to constraining what you do to the very core people who live in your home. You just need to consider it and make your own decision. Make your own decision. Isn't that wonderful? Finally, of course, Fauci's remarks do give more leeway to those who aren't in Democrat controlled states in terms of having their holiday dinner. The clear implication is that if they do, it may be granny's last turkey day. Fauci also showed up on CNN last Sunday where he chatted with Jake Tapper and suggested that once Thanksgiving has been canceled, that Christmas is next on the hit list. Watch happening. We've got to get the vaccine. It's got to be deployed and we can't abandon fundamental public health measures. You can approach a degree of normality while still doing some fundamental public health things that synergize with the vaccine to get us back to normal. So not until the second or third quarter of 2021, though. Christmas is probably not going to be possible. Yeah, I'm well. <laughs> 
You see, the left hates the holiday season. How long have they been trying to cancel Christmas? It's the time when Christians come together and celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior. Thanksgiving is a time when we come together as a family and we give thanks to our Creator for all that He has blessed us with. These are, these are holy days. Okay. Now, Thanksgiving may not necessarily be a religious holiday, but in fact, that's what we're doing. We are giving thanks. And that's the last thing that the left wants us to be doing is acknowledging God, acknowledging our creator. But of course, um, as far as this elf, maybe it's time to just put him up on the shelf, right? <laughs>